Oh, fuck, we're... Here we got some things to see. Oh, good god. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thankfully, it fucking saved, at least on the roof. Uh. No, I was the one who saved at the roof. Just me, cold, dead metal, all of it. 
What? What, what have happened? I done to deserve Your this? implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. Who'd go and do something like this and why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how... how to modify him. <laughs> you look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Chrome-sucking psychos. It won't be easy. Maelstrom never goes down the easy route. You fucking clowns. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead. June, go harass someone else. Like to buy some iron. Go buy some. I do need a sniper rifle. Looking at you? Can't help thinking retail just ain't your hobby. Ain't your calling. You wanna buy? Buy. You wanna talk? Fuck off. Okay. Well, let's do some bloodletting.
question is, did, was I the one who killed him? There is a very good chance that I think I... Who the fuck called me? Fuck!
Okay, let's do the fucking quest. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother. against my police. Please, I do not want them. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So, what are you doing here? What happened? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. I liked your brother more. <laughs> How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in a nice city, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. So I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First, I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Who knew monks were ungrateful little brats? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Ganic ass, too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just ripe for the picking? I like where you're going with this.
Yeah. So it could have been dirt from there too. That was cool. Let's see that gun that we could reach. with the smoking crotch. That's one way to put it. Anyway, just calling to say I transferred the funds. Uh, well, they managed to save your... You know. Yeah, as much as they could. At least the pain is gone. Anyway, once it heals, I'll get a better model. Something top shelf. Mm-hmm. Just check the warranty next time. <laughs> Will do. Take care, man. Nice. Yeah. It was not so much to go at throw it with a blade. This is where I killed the guys, okay?
I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting, you, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of even at the Kopiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Of course I found him. He's safe and sound, just needs to catch his breath. Thank you. The universe will reward you for your good deeds. I... I should not give in to base emotions, but I feel such a great relief that he is unharmed. Like to see what you can do for me. Plenty, I'm sure. Okay. Well, princess, how long I gotta wait? You make up for mine. Hey, good. Double res genius. Bullshit. You're a genius. I'm Aren't you a little young to run a business? Someone in the family's gotta be the scoff winner. I can count, and I've got good hands. All you need. Yeah, fair Cooking up anything good today? <laughs> I don't deal in anything less. Gotta respect yourself and your customers too. Fuck this country indeed, my man.